Domination situation developing for the bossiter. The poker gods answered all prayers. I'm all in. Robin Ulatalo on the button has ace king. He most certainly should three bet this. Ulatalo second in chips starts the hand with four million. I know we're in England, but is Robin wearing chain mail? Weird. The Swede counting out a three bet. He makes it 455,000 total. That's a little small given stack sizes. Both these guys are getting good prices. Both blinds pass. Gaelic, the original razor. Gives it up. Wagner. Wagner's been super tight. We know he should fold, but there's a chance he might think a shove could get through. He moves all in. Easy call. Ah, uh, cool. Ulatolo calls, putting Wagner at risk. Slovakian rail, Swedish rail, including Ketlund Mark. And they should be thrilled he's up against Queen Jack and not a pair. Plus, we know Ludo folded a Jack. Ulatolo a 68% favorite. Make that 77% favorite. Wagner looking for a queen or a jack. It's an ace! Wagner's drawing dead! Round to Robin Ulatalo in the big blind. King Queen. Domination situation developing for the bossiter. This is maybe the top of Robin's just call range from the big blind. Heads up to the flop. Which is queen high. Robin checks. To the razor, and this is a brutal flop for him, although he can't know it. He continues for 185,000. And Robin's got to like this. Looks like a fine spot for a call. Well, that doesn't look like a call. Why call when you can check raise to 480,000? Why well, hope this raise is based on some dynamic or some read that Jeff never bet folds. Jeff quickly calls. A lot of players are gonna fold most worse hands there. Jeff's got one he can call with. Eight of diamonds on the turn. And Robin, having taken over the betting lead on the flop, is set to continue the turn. As well he should. 680K. It's a good bet. People don't usually randomly check raise drive flops like that, but it looks like Jeff's not ready to give this up just yet. He calls again. With just 7% equity. Calling here and maybe folding river is actually okay too. It's a jack. Bad river for King Queen. Queen Jack is easily a hand Jeff could have. Check, check. Robin Ulatalo tables a winner. Jeff got a free showdown, but he's still gonna have to pay Uncle Jack for the moonshine. Kicker plays. Yee Ace Queen for Robin Ulatalo. Most certainly a hand you can three bet in position. And he's got Gaelic like, dominated. The chip leader does re-raise. He makes it 440,000. Leo McLean folds. Georgia's Karakusis is out. If Ludo thinks Robin's three betting light, he should probably just call. This isn't a stellar hand to four bet. It's got bad equity against the hands that would call. I'm on one. Ludo shoves. Cool. And Ulatello calls. Not now, guys. I'm in bad shape. And at risk. I get eight queen. Some are yelling ace, some are yelling eight. There's an eight and an ace. The poker gods answered all prayers. Gaelic with two outs, with two cards to come. Needs to hit on the river. We lose Ludovic Gaelic in fourth place. He cashes for nearly 200K. And Robin Ulatello now has more than 12 million chips. We're gonna sweat with our qualifier here. Leo McLean with king six on the button, raises to 205,000. We couldn't get a guy with more than 17 big blinds. Come on. The chip leader in the big blind. Guess our stack size is gonna make things pretty easy post flop. Assuming Robin Ulatalo doesn't re-raise. He elects to defend. We go to the flop. Which is 8-5-4. A gut shot for McLean. 
So we really want Robin to play it in flow so we can check behind, get a free card. Yes. Check, check. Shorthanded. We could have the best hand, and I don't think Robin's ever folding better to a bet. Deuce on the turn. Leo now has a double belly buster. Checking also disguised our hand if we did make the gut shot, which we didn't do. But Leo can still make a straight on the river with either a three or a seven now. Robin leads the turn. 260,000. With the increased equity of the double gutter ball, I think we have to call here. Two. Two six. Plus, if we catch the three, we have Cray Cray implied odds against an ace. Leo calls. More than a million in the middle. Well, the river isn't a three, but it is a seven. That's a straight for Leo. Nah, I wanted the three so we could sing Come on McLean by Dexy's Midnight Runner Runners. Action's on the chip leader. I'm all in. Robin Donatello shoves. We are not deep enough to get away from this, so we're just going to go ahead and ignore the spade and call. We've even got the king of spades, which is a super blocker. Oh, cool. Leo calls. Robin Donatello has jack nine. We were ahead on every street. Yes. I actually don't hate the shove by Jack Nine. Leo's probably gonna fold anything worse than a straight there. Ace King again for Robin Olatalo. Run better, dude. Offsuit wasn't good enough last time. 240. There's a min race. Ace six for Georgia's Caracusis. Another bad ace. There's his daughter Sophia. Put mom back on. He's in a hand. He three bets, re-raising to 620,000. He's doing it again. There's not much reason for Robin not to four bet this. You're likely to have the best hand and it's a big pot either way. He responds with a four bet to nearly one and a half million. Back on Karakusis. All in. He shoves. All in. I call. And Olatello calls, this could be it. Karakusis has played this heads up like he wants it to be over quickly and he just might get his wish. Olatello, a 73% favorite. That's six off. Not just to win this hand, but to win the EPT London main event. George is keeping his Karakulsis. His friend Alexis, troubled. Five, five deuce. Paired board always means a chop's a possibility, but Ace King is still a massive favorite. Robin wants this so bad. Meanwhile, this is the hardest a senior citizen has ever balled on this show, possibly ever. The turn card is the eight of clubs. A flush draw for Ulitalo. He's now an 84% favorite, and he will win unless there is an eight, a non-club six, or non-club deuce on the river. It's the Jack of Hearts, and he has done it! Robin Ulitalo is the 10th London champion on the EPT. You can keep your Kent Lundmarks. Sweden has a new EPT hero, Robin Ulitalo. And Georges Karakusis, who qualified online, is the runner-up. Good game. I had a lot, lot of good parts in heads up. But Ace King, Ace King, see all the time. Really nice playing with you. This tournament came down to two of the sleepers. They didn't make a whole lot of noise other than the occasional throat clear, but they were both at times very impressive. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content. And check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.